Warm greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Studying the Word of God, meditating on the Word of God, obeying the Word of God are integral part of a Christian's life. And let's thank God for this opportunity that God has given to study the Word of God through this character study. The character that I have chosen for the study is Naomi. We know that there are two books mentioned in the Bible after women and that is Ruth and Esther. And Naomi is mentioned in the book of Ruth. So we will be concentrating on the book of Ruth. Now we all know Naomi as the wife of Elimelech, the mother of Mahalon, Kilion the mother-in-law of Ruth and Orpa and so on. We know that the names in the Old Testament have great significance. Now, the meaning of the word Naomi is pleasant, joyful. Now, that was a brief introduction. Now, let's go to the book of Ruth, chapter 1. Concentrating on verse 1. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land and a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The first part of the verse says, in the days when the judges ruled. Now, there was a time period in the history of Israelites when the judges ruled them. Now, if you have to know about that time period, you have to go to the previous chap book in the Bible, that is the book of Judges. Now, if you closely analyze that book, it is a time of spiritual and moral poverty in the life of Israelites. We see them serving other gods. We serve, we see them uh, leading and uh, leading immoral lives. We see them worshipping other gods. We see them forgetting the God of Israel and so on. Now, when if you read this chapter again, we see that in the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. Now, famines and uh, the attack from the enemies and so on were given by the God of Israel as punishment or chastening because they forgot their God of Israel. If we closely analyze the reason for the spiritual poverty in the lives of Israelites, it is disobedience that led to the spiritual poverty. Please turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 2. And when the Lord your God has delivered them over to you and you have defeated them, then you must destroy them totally. Make no treaty with them and show them no mercy. That is a clear command from the Lord. But coming to Judges chapter 1 verse 19, verse 21, 27, 30 and so on. You see them, you see the disobedience of the children of Israel. They did not obey their God fully. They allowed the people to survive there. And as a result, what happened was that they slowly influenced the people of Israel. They learned their customs. They worshipped their gods. They intermarried with them. And this led to them distancing from the Lord God of Israel who brought them out of the land of Egypt. Now as a result what happened? Judges chapter 2 and verse 3. Now therefore I tell you that I will not drive them out before you. They will be thorns in your sight and their gods will be a snare to you. This is what was the reason for the spiritual poverty among the people of Israel and you know that our God of Israel is a jealous God. He cannot tolerate 
his people serving other gods or worshipping other gods so because of that he used to punish them if we read deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 downward we see how god is going to punish the people of israel for their disobedience he would send plagues he would send diseases he would hand them over to their enemies he would send famine and so on and so on this was the time when this incident in the book of ruth is taking place and we see there was a famine and that is the same reason why there is a famine in this land now when god punished the people of israel they repented they cried out to the lord and god raised judges in order to deliver them and that is why it is called the the time when the judges ruled them now why i stressed on this is that dear child of god god has given us commandments to follow and we are not to follow them partially but god expects us to follow them completely complete obedience is what god expects from us the second thing that i would like to bring to your attention is that do not yoke yourself with unbelievers god has set boundaries that we are not supposed to cross if god has said no if god has said stop it is a clear instruction for us to stop and say no there are many things in this world that can attract us and these days among christian believers we find there is again the same thing that's going on these days spiritual poverty and why we are compromising with the world is it not but god does not tolerate that in romans chapter 12 he clearly says do not conform to the world we are supposed to say a strict no to something of the world if you love the world you do not love god that is what god says so these are the two things why i stressed on uh, the period of uh, the period when the judges ruled so today what we learned is let's know our boundaries let's obey our god not partially but completely now this i said as just an introduction may god add his blessing to these words let's continue in the next class praise god